This video is on nucleophilic substitution, a basic guide of the mechanism. It focuses on SN2, which is bimolecular nucleophilic substitution. This is a reaction between 1 bromopropane and aqueous sodium hydroxide. Firstly, draw the 1 bromopropane in a 3D fashion. As the CX bond is polar, a delta plus is on the carbon atom and a delta minus is on the X. Aqueous sodium hydroxide dissociates completely to give sodium plus and OH minus. OH minus ion is a nucleophile as the oxygen contains a lone pair of electrons. In addition, the oxygen is willing to donate its lone pair of electrons to the delta plus carbon. The nucleophile attacks the back of the CX bond. This facilitates X minus to leave. CX bonds breaks hectolytically. The electrons is contributed to X. A pentavalent structure is drawn. This structure is drawn showing partial breaking of the CX bond. and the partial formation of the C-oxygen bond. This symbol symbolizes that the structure is a transition state. The transition state has a negative charge because of OH-. The transition state cannot be isolated, unlike the intermediate. From the transition state, the product will be formed. Notice that there is an inversion of the reactant and the product. Look out for the H directions. To avoid drawing the inversion of the alkyl group, try to draw it on the plane. Absence of the intermediate suggests that this is a single step mechanism. The rate of reaction is affected by the hydroxide ions and the alkyl halides concentration. As rate of reaction depends on two reactants, hence it is SN2. This example shows one bromopropane reacting with ammonia. Ammonia is a nucleophile which attacks the electrodeficient carbon. The CX bonds break hectolytically, the bond pair of electrons goes to X. Like in the earlier case, a pentavalent structure is drawn. The transition state is neutral because the nucleophile is neutral. X has a partial negative charge because it is taking bonded electrons and has a partial positive charge because it is donating its electrons to carbon. An intermediate is formed with N having a positive charge. X- then attack the H of the NH bond. The NH bond breaks hectolytically. The electrons from the bond are donated to nitrogen. Hence the formation of the product. This is a two steps mechanism. The slow step is the first step. While the second step is the fast step. This does not imply that this nucleophilic substitution has two steps. This it is because the fast step is actually an acid-base reaction. The slow step is the nucleophilic substitution step. The rate of reaction is controlled by the slow step of the reaction. 
The rate of reaction is affected by the concentration of ammonia and the concentration of alkyl halide, hence it is SN2. Replay this video if it is needed.